Welcome back for, wow, what is on my lens? That was mud. Welcome back for another Waterfowl Wednesday. Man, it's been a while since I've said that. Wow. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We gotta keep YouTube happy. We gotta get these out of here. Just hold on a second. Gotta, gotta make it advertiser friendly. Okay. You think that bow's okay? Uh, they, they, YouTube just hates guns. Back to, uh, back to what we were talking about. Oh, sorry, I'm just, it's so hard for me to believe that I could possibly lose what I've built here. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay, that is right. It is time to do Waterfowl Wednesdays. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing them frequently, like every single week quite yet. But stay tuned because the spring and summer and right up until about duck season, every Wednesday you can count on some waterfowl hunting content coming your way. If you guys cannot tell by the title, today we are going to be talking about how to get decoys for cheap. I know I've made a video on this in the past, okay? But now is the time to do it and I have an example. But first, I wanna take a second to kinda of talk about some stuff that's been going on here on YouTube with some duck hunting content and just hunting content in general. So there's, there's word going around that eventually YouTube is going to pretty much demonetize any content with guns in it. Now, for me, being a, a YouTuber that basically uses guns in every single video, that would impact me. Now, I wanna just kinda of get short and sweet and down to the point, what that would mean for you guys as my viewers that would pretty much mean I would stop making videos unless I had other sources of revenue because when the videos get demonetized, so that means I make no money off of the videos, that means I pretty much have very little income to go off of. So there's no incentive for me to keep going through editing and making the videos and doing all that stuff. It's not just, oh yeah, here's, here's a video on my hunt. I'm doing it because one, I get paid and two, because I enjoy it. But when there's no money, that means I got to go somewhere else to find money and then I, uh, I don't have the time to do this. If that makes any sense to you guys. Pretty much short and sweet and to the point here is if that does end up being true and it happens, I might not be posting very many videos or I might not be posting videos at all. It just kind of depends. But that is not what today's video is about. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get decoys for cheap. And I know a lot of you guys are either just starting out duck hunting or you've been in it for a while and you just wanna get more decoys and you don't wanna pay full price for them. Well, I had something happen over the weekend. I went to a local academy and I found these blue wing teal decoys on sale. I got these for $10 a box, okay? Brand new decoys for $10 a box. Granted, these are blue wing teal decoys. I will really only use them uh, for the first few weeks of the season. So teal season, and maybe I'll break them out in regular big duck season right at the beginning. But let's, let's take a look and see what I got for $10 a box. I bought two boxes, so I've got a dozen of these. And um, I'm just kind of curious. I've been wanting to open these up, but I was like, you know, I'm going to wait and do it on video. Okay. So, I have used uh, Academy decoys in the past, and they've lasted a lot longer than you might think they would. For being just some cheap uh, decoys, but these are just basic blue wing teal decoys, same paints as the other ones I've had, weighted keel, nothing special. Now the reasoning why I bought these, like I've got plenty of decoys. I want to replace the teal decoys that I bought at Walmart on sale for six dollars a box for six of them with these guys. So the teal decoys that I have been running, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them with these guys. So the, the hand looks pretty good. Let's check out the drake and uh, like I was saying, I'm gonna use these in the early season. And the thing that just really kills me about um, teal decoys, most people are gonna use them in September. Teal do not look like this in September. Um, so I, I don't, it just doesn't quite make sense to me, but I know a lot of you guys down south still kill them and it makes sense for you guys to have fully plumed decoys. But I don't know why, they, maybe they do. Maybe they do make like early season teal decoys, but I don't know, fact check me on that one. But there's the Drake, it looks pretty good as well. So hopefully these things hold up and you know, for 20 bucks for a dozen teal decoys, you can't beat that. Example A, 
go ahead and shop around, see what stores are selling decoys on sale. So for all of you guys watching this video right now, check out Academy. I saw some Gadwall decoys on sale and some Blue Wing Teal decoys on sale. Your local Academy might have something like Mallard decoys on sale. I don't know. Be sure to go check it out. Also, stay tuned to like, I don't know, maybe Rogers is doing a sale, um, Max Prairie Wings. A lot of places will be doing end of season sales, so it's a great time to pick up decoys. Now this next way you can pick up decoys for cheap is pretty well known and I'm sure you guys watching this video do this already. Go ahead, go to Facebook, go to Facebook Marketplace, look at who's selling decoys around the area because most people, um, you know, there's an exception of a few that are just selling crappy decoys that they don't use anymore. A lot of people sell the decoys they have to just buy new ones for the next season. A lot of people don't like running you know, two season decoys. They like to run the brand new, right out of the box, nice fully flocked decoys. So you can get a pretty good deal on Facebook or even Craigslist on decoys that have been lightly used or moderately used. So just stay tuned, look on there. It's a great place to, um, one, get decoys for cheap, but two, you could build a connection with the person that you buy them from. Um, I know like it, it, it's a long shot and everything, but you know, you could, go meet the person to pick up the decoys and you know you just start doc talking duck hunting you're like wow we live like five minutes away from each other we should try and hook up and go on a duck hunt together and just just rolling with what I like to call networking and so as a business student I get taught about networking and all this stuff and it doesn't just have to be business related with your network you can just build connections with people that enjoy duck hunting and I do this all the time and it just leads to going hunting and you know you have birds the other guy doesn't say hey I'm all by myself, you wanna come hunt with me. So that's not what this video is about, but I hope you guys understand that it's more than just picking up decoys. You can turn it into finding somebody new to hunt with, somebody who might be able to take you on a place that you can't get permission on, that kind of deal. So it's a long shot, but it's, it's, it's worth it, you never know. Some things that you need to keep in mind when you're picking up used decoys, give them a good look over. You wanna make sure that there's no holes in them. Uh, I'm sure there's people out there that are selling their decoys because they've been shot up and they don't want to use them anymore and they think they can get away with it. So some places to really look at, even if they're not shot, is a lot of times in the seams they get cracks and those are real easy to like miss when you're looking at them. And especially like down here on the bottom of the decoy where the, just basically this middle seam, sometimes the, uh, the plastic can crack and water will get in there. So just be mindful of that. It's not hard to fix it by any means. You just you could probably just put some flex seal on it or something like that if you really want to save some money. But just look at the decoys. Make sure they're not shot up and there's no cracks in them. Make sure they'll, they'll float. So um, yeah, just keep that in mind when you're looking at the decoys that you're gonna buy. Now, another place that you can go to look for some cheaper decoys, and I'm saying this just from my own personal experiences, and I think they are worth you guys looking into. I ran Bulk Decoy Club full body geese all season long. I've even got some full body ducks. Unfortunately, I didn't get to use those a whole lot, but when I did, I like to use them, especially on the, the banks of a pond. It's a great place to use full body ducks. You can get six of those full body Canada goose decoys for $100. And they came out with um, a Texas rigs and they've got the decoy bags. I've got a couple back there, if you guys can tell. Those decoy bags, they're freaking $29 for a six slot decoy bag. And I use those for my duck full bodies and for my Canada goose floaters and they work really well. So go ahead and give it a look. Um, I'm not telling you to go buy them. I'm saying that's an option to get them for cheap. They're probably one of the cheapest Canada goose and snow goose decoys on the market right now. And um, I've actually got some snow goose socks back there. So let's check these out. These are the Bulk Decoy Club Snow Goose Socks, okay? The reason I've got these is I'm gonna be trying to go out and do some snow goose hunting in the spring. Is it gonna work out? Maybe, who knows, we'll find out. But I've got a whole bunch of these socks now and I just wanna show you guys and get you a little bit fired up for uh, conservation season. They've got a backbone in them, you pop it out, bang, you're right there, good to go. If you guys are looking for snow goose decoys, they're selling these for uh, $380 for a pack of 10 dozen of these. So, they're good decoys and I would recommend them. The reason why I'm saying that now is the best time to get decoys for a cheaper price is because a lot of people are doing spring cleaning, stores are doing liquidation sales, so what that means is they're selling the products that they're not gonna be able to sell until like six months from now. They're wanting to sell it, get cash for it, and you know, probably spend money on like 
I don't know, fishing gear or whatever the store is going to be selling. After the season ends is a great time to pick up decoys for cheap because people are wanting to get rid of the old ones to buy new ones. Uh, stores are wanting to sell them and people, uh, they're clearing out their garages for nice spring weather, doing spring cleaning. So another place to look is at garage sales. Now, I haven't been to very many garage sales in my life, but I know people have picked up goose decoys and all kinds of hunting gear uh, from a garage sale. So stay tuned to your local garage sales and check those out as well. If you guys know of some place that I did not mention in this video, go ahead and leave it in the comments and steer some people in the right direction as where to go to look for some cheap decoys. I don't know if eBay is an option, maybe? I don't know, I haven't looked at eBay for decoys. So leave it in the comments. Also, if you guys wanna pick up a hat like this one and support the channel, it means a lot when you guys do that and it really, really does help out so that I can continue making these videos. Click the link in the top of the description, pick up a hoodie like this one or a hat like this one and just show your support for the channel. I enjoy when you guys like send me Snapchats, you wearing the gear. I've seen pictures of people putting the hats on their dogs and stuff. I just think it's so cool that uh, you guys pick up the apparel and wear it and represent Outdoor Limits and Mallards Bro and all that stuff, so it's pretty sweet. If you haven't already, go ahead and click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell because I don't know what's going on. Maybe YouTube isn't putting my videos through on the subscription boxes and stuff like that, but just to be on the safe side so you guys don't ever miss a video, click the bell and it'll give you a notification whenever I post a video. You can also follow me on my social media. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. So be sure to follow me on there and stay up to date with what's going on. But that is all I've got for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video, and I will catch you on the next one.